Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make this hidden input secret sort of whatever with a lectern. <laughs> Basically, it'll uh, it'll give you an output, but secretly. <laughs> um, so you can you can either uh, either place it like this, and nobody can see the uh, mechanics underneath it, or if you want it even more hidden, or just slightly differently placed then you can do it like this with a comparator and uh, I'll show you how to make each one in more detail in just a second. The way this works though is you take an output from this dropper with a comparator and when the comparator turns off that's when your output uh, occurs, that's when the door should open or whatever. And if you keep your eye on that piston down there and I will flip through these pages you flip through the pages at the right speed, and if you do it correctly, like you saw right there and, and right there, then uh, basically the piston activates. the The output has worked, um, and you can make it uh, you can make it harder in two different ways. Either you change the number of pages in the book. If it's two pages, for example, then you'll have to go back and forth like this, and that'll be harder to uh, harder to trigger the output with or you can go into the dispenser, add more items, and that'll require more page turnings to uh, uh, to trigger your output. However, that's about that, and it's time to show you how to build it. For the first style over there, the small one, basically the only things you need to do are place an observer, <laughs> apparently not like that, an observer facing upwards on top of that block, and set a lectern on top of the observer, like so. And once you've done that, then you place a dropper down there by the block that the observer is going into, and a hopper facing into the dispenser right above it, or the dropper, I guess it doesn't matter which. Then you place a few items in. Probably two is enough to make it so that no one will stumble upon it accidentally, but I think four works pretty well. More will make it more difficult, less will make it less difficult. Then you place your book inside the lectern. Then you take your output by placing a comparator in any position that has access to this uh, to this dropper. And when the, when the comparator turns off, that's when the output should be triggered. That's that's the detection mechanism. So you may want to invert it, or you may have some other way of doing things. To use the other method, which is perhaps slightly more secret, but not really, <laughs> unless someone goes breaking blocks, uh, then they're the same. You place a block there, block there, and a block there, and a lectern on that block, with a comparator c detecting through that block, and a redstone dust on top of the observer. Now, if you're doing it this way, you need to limit the number of pages in your book to 15, because that's all the comparator can detect. But if you're doing it the other way, then the observer's detecting updates straight from the lectern, so it doesn't matter at all how many pages. However, that's all the time I've got for today, so hopefully this video was useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.